It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. Well, I went down to the riverside, took me a little sleep. Oh, I went down to the riverside, and there I went to sleep. I went down to the riverside, and there I went to sleep. When I woke, there were shackles on my feet. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. Let's hear some fiddle song now. Russia 
and we built three playgrounds in Russia that looks a lot like those. That was in my past. You know, if somebody would look into my past, they would see where I've been to Russia over 25 to 30 times. Of course, I went there. I went there to try to share the good news of the gospel. And we did. But the language barrier made it very, very difficult. We made friends with the Russian people. We had access to everything. I had a call, colleague call me this week and he said this. He said, Brent, you know no one will ever have the access to Russia like we did. And I said, yes, but did we do our very best? Did we do our very best spreading the good news of the gospel? And he said, I don't know. And I said, I don't know either. And I worry about that. It's in my past, but did I waste opportunities over there to share the good news of the gospel? One thing hit my mind when I was thinking about that. I never mentioned baptism over there. My gracious, if I mentioned baptism, I would say that I could have baptized very many people. And you know what? I worry about that. Gosh, just watch the news. Anybody watch the news? Gosh, there's a lot to worry about if you watch the news. Israel. Israel. I worry about Israel. Why don't I worry about Israel? Well, that's the land of the Bible. That is Jesus' earthly home. I worry any day. Israel and Iran will be into a, a fight. They're already shooting missiles everywhere. And you know, Jesus said this to his disciples when he was in Jerusalem. They were in the temple and they were oohing and on about the beauty of the temple. And Jesus said, not one stone will be left upon another. It will all be destroyed. Great day in the morning. What if those missiles starts flying they hit Jerusalem, the holy city of Jerusalem, the city Jesus stood on the mountain and he cried over because he knew what was going to happen. What if the missiles hit Jerusalem? Well, if they hit Bethlehem, the place of his birth, what if it's destroyed? What about Nazareth, where they say nothing good came from Nazareth, where the very best thing in the world came from Nazareth? What if the missiles hit it and blow it up? Bethany. What about Bethany? The resting stop for the disciples so many times. Jesus loved those places. And I heard just the other day the missiles were flying over the Sea of Galilee. What if all these places are destroyed? And you know they could be. I worry about that. Oh, we got so many things to worry about. I worry about my grandchildren. What kind of world they will grow up in. I worry about, oh, will we have enough money? Will we have enough money uh, to live like we have lived? There's so many people that are in poverty that have nothing. And you know, I don't know those people. I know some of them, but I'll tell you this. I do worry about them. What about the church? What about the church? I worry about this church and the other church all the time. I come in Sunday and I worry. Will they be people here? I worry about the attendance. I worry about the giving. I worry about this and that. I worry about all the sick people. Oh, there's so many people that are in the hospitals, so many people that are sick. I worry about them. I worry about, I worry about everything. Do you worry? Is it good to worry? Is it bad to worry? Worry shows that you are, you are concerned and you care what's going to happen. 
Jesus and his disciples were out roaming around. And I guess, if you read, I guess the disciples were worried about what they would eat and worried about their clothing, what they would wear. And Jesus says, look, look at the lilies of the valley. Look at the birds of the air. Look at this stuff. Our Father takes care of them. Are you not of more importance than them? He doesn't say not to worry. He doesn't say that. So what do we do with worry? You know, he, Jesus says, by worrying, you will not add one day to your life. Well, I read by worrying, you may lose days of your life. So how do we get around worry? What do we do with worry? Each and every one of us worries every day, I believe. What do we do about that? Well, all I know is prayer. Prayer. When we worry, we need to bend the knee and we need to go to the Lord in prayer. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean for me and you? This is what that means. It means that we will be praying a lot. And that's a very wonderful thing. If there is one positive thing about worry, it is that it leads to prayer and conversation with our Lord and Savior, Jesus. It, it takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. Well, I went down to the riverside, took me a little sleep. Oh, I went down to the riverside, and there I went to sleep. I went down to the riverside, and there I went to sleep. When I woke, there were shackles on my feet. It takes a worried man.